Hello, as you can see, we've got quite a long way with the trailer. I put all the running gear on and basically attached everything that I can before I paint it. Uh, most of it really quite easy. A uh, couple of little bits that might cause you problems that I'll point out, it might help you along the way. When you assemble these two axles here, which are the two rear axles, the plate, the fisher plate there that would marry onto here in, in sorry in real life would bolt onto these arms. If you line the bolts up, which I did, then eventually when you come to put the shock absorbers on, which are shown on the next page, they won't fit. It's as simple as that. So what you have to do is push that axle as far to this front edge, this leading edge, as you can, and then glue it on. And you just have to live with the fact that the plates and the bolts don't line up on the two two items. Otherwise, it sees bolts here and the, the bolts on the on the uh, on the, the suspension arm that don't line up. Otherwise, you simply won't get the shock absorbers on. And what I had to do was I glued them on and then I had to try and prise them apart. And unfortunately, they'd been on for about an hour, so it, it, it was quite a job. And you can see how close they are to the the end there, uh, to the, 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 the end of the, the arm. But as you can see, you can see it quite clearly from here, the bolt holes don't line up. So in real life, that would fall off. Fortunately, we're not in real life, it's just a bit of glue. Uh, that's one thing, these don't move, so the, the, although you don't put any cement here, uh, they don't move, they're fixed, they're rigid. The next set, uh, suspension, not for the four here, does move, however, on the instructions, um, it, it's quite, if you're going to use, if you're going to stage your model in a, a diorama, for example, that would be quite useful for you it, it moves in all directions as it should do it's it's really quite flexible but to, to achieve that on the instructions it would it suggests that you would glue all of the all of those joints every one of them if you don't put any cement on it and just push them together they fit really snugly and they will move as you just as you've just seen on the on the, on the model other than that they're really quite easy to put together The shock absorbers are really quite a nightmare to put in, especially if you've put the axle in the wrong place, as I say, I did and had to uh, undo the whole thing and redo it. There are four tiny, tiny little pieces that sit on the axle. And those tiny little pieces, I'm trying to find them. Those tiny little pieces are these. B54 and they hold the shock absorbers onto the axle if, if it, with hindsight it would have been easier to leave those off completely glue them to the shock absorber and then glue the whole thing to the axle when you put the shock absorber in if I was doing this model again if I was doing the same kit again that's that's what I would do I would leave them off there then put them glue them to the bottom of the shock absorber and then glue the shock absorber into position on there. I've also done all the wheels, put all the wheels together. Really quite easy, no, nothing difficult there at all, all very straightforward. Uh, put the spare wheel together. Put the, 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 the ramps, the rear ramps for the trailer together and left the moving moving pieces there, I don't know if you can see that, yeah I think you can, there's an issue with that, I'll come to that in a second or two, and I've made two new planks 
for the front of the trailer. Again, I'll show you what I mean there in a second or two. The little lights on the, on the side here, in real life they would pull out to uh, accommodate a wider load. So if you've got a tracked vehicle on, your, on the back of the trailer, you would have those extended right out. For some reason they've not made, they, it wouldn't have been too difficult to make them so that they pulled out, but they, they, they haven't done. So they're fixed into place. Uh, there's no glass work on them, so you'd, it's a case of painting them amber, like the rest of the lights all the way along. The rear lights are put together but not put the glass in and I've painted the inside of the, the, the casement, if you like, green so that it's, um, it's easy to paint. I'm not trying to spray inside there. Again with the, the red lights on the back, the markers on the back, they've not supplied glass with them. They've just put, them, they've just put plastic so they'll have to be painted. The landing legs very simple to put together you get two options you can either have them in a retracted position or an extended position i chose the retracted position the bits of photo edge etch that go onto the the um, trailer frame are there so that you can locate the trailer legs the landing legs now then i wanted it in a retracted position so that i can uh, couple it to the unit however if you put it in a retracted position and you glue this piece of photo etch on first which is the the, the locating section for the uh, for the arm then that arm won't reach that arm so what I want to do is there is a marker on there or there was so uh, so that you can position this piece correctly I had to sand that off, put the piece further up, and then connect it to this and glue it on there. It's not really an issue, but um, it, it's obviously designed so that you you position your landing leg in there. In real life, you knock that pin out, pull the arm, uh, the landing leg down, and then push the arm uh, that arm into there and put a pin back through it. As I say, that one on the instructions is in the wrong place if you want the legs retracted. There's also on the instructions a hammer that goes into these two holes here. But I've looked on all the reference photographs of the real trailer that I can find. There's no hammer there. So I've left that off and there doesn't seem to be anything to hold it on. So if it was a, a real life hammer it would just drop off. It, 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 there's nothing there to hold it. So I've, I've left that off completely and I'm going to drop it into one of the toolboxes on the top here and glue it down. Apart from that the legs are fairly easy. I made them originally so that they would move so that I could have them either up or down but it, once I got to this section here it didn't make sense to do that so I glued them all together. Another oddity that you might find is that when you come to put the photo etch in, this piece is fine, this piece is fine, the piece of checker plate here and the grill to go into the, 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 the front one is fine. However this piece, and I don't know if I've done something drastically wrong or what, what's happened there, it tells you it goes into the front compartment. And all, all the reference photographs that I've seen, it, it is uh, mesh under there, but the mesh covers the whole of the, the, the bottom of the compartment but the piece of photo etch doesn't. This piece here, I had to cut a new piece of photo etch, I don't know how well you can see that, cut a new piece of photo etch and put it in there to fill the hole in. I've put some photographs up of it there and not there but you can see it more clearly there, There's a, uh, I've had to cut a piece there and fill the whole hole in. Without that it just didn't look right at all you know why would you have that mesh there at all if there was a big gap for everything to fall out the back so I filled that in and fairly easy really you just cut, cut a piece of the framework the fret from your photo etch cut it to size in with a pair of scissors glue it in with a bit of super glue job's done
that was all that was there. The on the instructions and in the kit they supply two planks. These planks would be used to put underneath the feet to spread the weight on softer ground. So they, they, you need to carry them with you. Any heavy load and it, it would sink into, into softer ground or soft tarmac. Uh, anything that's not particularly hard standing. So on the instructions there are two lugs there and there. And this piece, which is D16, fits onto those two lugs. However, D16 is D16 is just a smooth piece of plastic. Uh, they they haven't even put any wood grain on it. It it looks completely unreal. You you just wouldn't realise what it is. So what I decided to do, because I'm my own worst enemy is I filed off the lugs there and there on both sides and I've smoothed it off um, and I'll, I'll polish it before, I've, before I paint it smoothed all that off I've then made two wooden planks which are made out of wood and banded them together and I'll paint those uh, with a wood stain so it looks like greasy old wood, which is what it would be. And they will fit nicely. I'll have to turn it upside down or it doesn't make any sense. They will fit nicely onto that piece there. And they will look right when it's, when it's finished. Yep. As I say, I'm sometimes my own worst enemy. I don't, I don't like things that don't look quite right and it you know well, i think that will look obviously it's not positioned exactly now but i think that will look reasonably well so that's those the ramps um i've already mentioned they're they're really straightforward however <laughs> there's always a however isn't there on this ramp let's get to on this ramp the two pins on piece B16 fits into those two small holes. Now for some reason on the same piece on this ramp they fit into the two large holes. They do of course go into the small holes. If you put them in the large holes there then when you come to put the ramp on the back of the trailer these holes, the large holes here are for the pin, the hinge pin that allows them to move up and down. There are, inside the, the ramps, let me turn that the right way, so it's trying hard, two injection dents on each that need filling, otherwise you'll see them a mile off. Um, little bits and pieces on the trailer, I think I've mentioned, you can't really see them, difficult. Where the, the injection moulding is, where you've got to fill it in. I've also had to fill in this joint here, and when you put it on you'll find it doesn't quite line up with the two so you might have to file the edges off a little bit as well little gaps underneath on the on the feet nothing really serious you know It'd take five minutes to to fill them and, and sand them and i think that's about where we're up to to be fair it's all fairly straightforward so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint all of that, I'm going to put everything together and camouflage it and then I'll make another video when it's all finished. If you have any questions then please don't hesitate, put them in the, in the comments box below, questions, comments, good or bad. And I'd be very grateful if you would like and subscribe. Thanks very much, ta -da.